Hey guys, Chicago injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, shooting another video for you. Today's topic is what's the difference between a workers' comp settlement and a personal injury settlement, okay? So the big first thing for you to understand about these kinds of settlements is how the, ca the cases are evaluated for value, right? So in a personal injury case, in theory, you can go in front of a judge and a jury and whatever you prove, whatever dollar amount you ask for and you prove, you have a chance to get, okay? You also have a chance to get zero or any amount between a lot and, and uh, zero because it's possible for the jury to enter a, a not guilty. You can ask for your doctor bills, you can ask for your wage loss, but you also can ask for things like past disability, future disability, past uh, pain and suffering, and future pain and suffering for injuries that are permanent, right? And those can result in a lot of money depending on the type of injury it is. Contrast that with workers' comp where there is a higher chance for you to win the case, okay? You're more likely to win a workers' comp case than you are a jury trial. But you get a lot less because the damages are calculated differently, right? So in those kinds of cases, almost everything in workers' comp, you get less for the same injury as compared to a third-party case because everything is based on your average weekly wage and your percentage of disability, percentage of permanent disability for the final lump sum of money you get at the end of a workers' comp case. The system in workers' comp is built to compensate workers for less money for the same injury as compared to a personal injury case. Um, but, you know, the trade-off is you don't have to prove all of the liability things, all of the detailed liability things. You don't have to prove negligence. So what does that mean as a practical matter? Well, as a practical matter, it means that your offers on workers' comp cases are often going to be more likely but lower in dollar amount than in a third-party case. So a third-party case settlement has the potential to be much larger than a workers' comp, depending on how serious the injury is. So we have to think about that when we're talking about settlements. Oftentimes, settlements in a third party are going to be bigger than a workers' comp. The exception to that is when you have a very hard case to prove against the defendant in a third party case. So if you have a really hard case to prove against somebody, in other words, it's going to be very difficult or impossible to prove negligence, you may get nothing on your third party case. You may um, have to take a, an extremely compromised amount of money to settle your case. And that's just the way it is. That's just how the cases work. So you need to understand that about the difference between workers' comp and personal injury settlements first. But then as a practical matter, the next thing you need to understand is that in workers' comp, the way the system is designed is so that an injured worker will get paid his or her lost wages and the doctor bills will get paid as they're incurred. Okay? Now, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes if it's a contested case, all of that will be in a lump sum at the end of the case. But in the vast majority of cases, an injured worker gets paid um, their TTD, their temporary total disability, or the money you get paid while being off work as you incur it, which takes a lot of pressure off an injured worker because they've got an income even though they're not at work. And it also takes pressure off them because their medical bills usually are being paid. Um, contrast that with personal injury. In a personal injury case, everything is compensated at the end of the case. So there is no situation where um, an injured person in a third party case, you know, I should never say never. I, I have represented people where an insurance company, you know, was like pre approving medical care for my client and then they were negotiating payment of the bills as they were being incurred, but that usually doesn't happen. You know, in workers' comp, you can call the insurance company, and if they've accepted the claim, you can often get pre-approval 
for a big medical procedure or for a series of injections or for physical therapy. Whereas in a third party personal injury case, like a car crash, bar fight, dog bite, um, nursing home abuse, medical malpractice, you name it, fall down, any kind of case that goes to the regular courthouse, it's very rare for the um, insurance company to pre-approve anything or anything like that. In fact, you know, I've represented people who have had a worker's comp case before and they're familiar with the concept of calling the insurance company to get pre-approval, in other words, to get their permission to go to the doctor and things like that. Um, but it's just, it, that's just not the way it works in third party cases. In third party cases, you either need health insurance or you need to find a doctor who will work on a lien, meaning a lien is spelled L-I-E-N, but it's pronounced lien just like you lean on a desk or you lean on the wall, right? Um, those doc, in other words, those doctors say, I understand you have an injury case. I understand that you don't have health insurance. We will give you medical treatment, but we expect our bills to be paid out of your personal injury case. Now, usually doctors only want to work on a lien if you have an attorney who they've heard of and who they know knows what they're doing and wins their cases. Um, so that's sort of how that all works. Um, those are the big differences. You know, um, I guess the third big difference is every workers' comp case is reviewed by a judge, by the arbitrator, okay? I call them judges. They're arbitrators. They preside over your case. And in order to settle a workers' comp case, you actually have to go before the judge. The judge has to review the terms for, you know, Technically, the judge is reviewing the terms to see if they're reasonable, um, to see if they're protecting the injured worker. Now, you, in a third-party case, you have no such protection. There's no judge reviewing your settlement to make sure it's fair or to make sure the amounts being paid out of your settlement are fair. The exceptions are when you have a minor, a person under the age of 18, who settles a case and they're getting more than $10,000, it requires us to go in front of a judge. Um, and of course, this is from the perspective of Illinois law. Most jurisdictions have similar, similar rules, but your mileage may vary. Um, or in the case of a disabled person or a deceased person. In those situations, in order to approve settlements, we have to go before the court um, with limited exceptions. We also have to go to the court and, um, you know, if your case, if there's a lawsuit filed in your case and it's in litigation, we also have to enter a dismissal order of the case uh, in your third party case. But the judge isn't reviewing the settlement. The judge is not reviewing the settlement to make sure the settlement is fair to you or anybody else. They're just dismissing the case because you and your opponent have both said that the case is settled. So the judge doesn't review anything. So you you know, that's a pretty big difference between the, um, between the cases. Last thing I'll say about settlements or verdicts for that matter is, um, the attorney's fee that gets deducted in a worker's comp case in the state of Illinois is 20%, 20% of, you know, any disputed amounts, right? So... Um, the fee in third party injury cases is often higher than that. You know, it, it almost always is. Uh, most attorneys charge a third or 40% if they have to litigate the case. Um, but the standard fee is a third. That's what most lawyers do. Um, so obviously the attorney's fees are higher. Um, you know, and there are other... There are some other detailed differences between them, but I would say the three topics we covered cover the biggest differences between a worker's comp settlement and a personal injury settlement. So anyway, I hope that information helps you. If I can help you or your family or you or anyone you know needs a lawyer, please give me a call anytime, night or day for a free consultation, 312-500-4500. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.
Thanks for watching. If you or anyone you know has been hurt in an accident and needs a lawyer or even just has questions, give me a call anytime, day or night at 312-500-4500. You can call me anytime, day or night, and the consultation is free. That's 312-500-4500. Or if you're not ready to talk to a lawyer, I made two great tools that really help people out that you can use for free on my website. The links are in the description. The first one is called the Case Cash Calculator, and it tells you what your case might be worth. The other is called the good case calculator and it tells you whether you might have a good case or you might have a case with some challenges. The best part is that they're 100% free to use on my website and it only takes you 20 seconds flat to answer seven multiple choice questions right off the top of your head and then you get custom information about your particular injury situation fast and for free. So check them out, links in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. I release two new videos every every week and this way you'll get notice of them. And if you have a question you'd like answered in a video, just leave a comment with your question in the comment section. Finally, if you enjoy my videos or if I've helped you in any way, I hope you'll consider doing me a favor. Injury law is a very competitive field and I like having a small independent firm so I can help people who need it. People really rely on Google reviews when deciding who to hire. So I hope you'll consider leaving me a five-star review on Google. It only takes a few seconds, but it's a favor to me that I would really appreciate. The link is in the description. You just go to that link, Click five stars, say a kind word, hit submit, and you're done. Once again, I hope you and your family are well, and if anyone you know needs an injury lawyer or has questions, please send them my way by calling 312-500-4500. Thanks again for watching. Take care.